What up, it's your boy T-Bear here with some news and reactions. So, last yesterday on New Year's Day, we suffered one of our first big loss in the world, world, and this is in sports. As former NBA commissioner, well known NBA commissioner and personnel, Dave Stern passed away at the age 77 after suffering a brain, a brain hemorrhage and he was 77 years old. David Stern was the pinnacle of the NBA commission as a commissioner um, as he was um, became commissioner in 1984 after joining the NBA as a general counsel and, and as a, an executive vice president in 1980. In 1984, when he became the commissioner, he was part of the one of the iconic drafts of the NBA, the 1984 draft, and one of his very first draft pick was Hakeem Olajuwon. Also in that same class, we had the likes of uh, Matt, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, and I'm trying to remember the other, the rest of them there, um, and many others. <coughs> The 1984 draft was considered one of the top best draft class, along with the '96 and the 2000. I think it's 2003, 2014 draft class. Let me. It's probably the 2002, 2003. Yes, 2003 one. I have to remember that. Um, let me uh, bring up the 1984 draft class real quick, which was his. In his last, in his last uh, um, draft night as commissioner. He would be presented by his first draft pick, Akeem Olajuwon. So yeah, known draft selection from that is the following mission: Akeem Olajuwon, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, and as well as John Stockings, and many others, including Orth, Otis Thorpe, Kevin Willis. Um, let me see what else we had that was well known. And that's all the nobles I can think of. The CD, C key. So, here's this video from ESPN on the, on their word about the passing of David Stern, the longtime NBA commissioner who served as commissioner once again from 1984 to 2014, and was succeeded by Adam Silver. Again, David Stern was 70, 77 years old. We're a video from ESPN as well as a short. Um, video of reactions from NBA players all, all, all over, and and he was responsible for drafting a lot of the top players that's out now, such as LeBron James, Stephen Curry, um, I think Anthony Davis, and many I think Anthony Davis, I might be wrong, and many others. So off of noon, let's check it out. This video first, and this first video from ESPN. In his 30 years as commissioner, David Stern made it possible for the NBA Jack, to Minnie, scramble as well to the brink of bankruptcy and irrelevance mm -hmm. to a position of global significance unthinkable in the dark days of the late 1970s and mm -hmm. early 1980s, when the league was beset by drug problems, wow. teams were going bankrupt, mm. and the finals were on tape delay. Wow. That stunning reversal of fortune is why Stern will be remembered as perhaps the greatest leader of any sports league ever. Of course, the league's rebirth can't be attributed solely to Stern's savvy and toughness. It wasn't Stern, after all, who fashioned from clay the transcendent Larry Bird-Magic Johnson rivalry. It wasn't Stern who imbued Michael Jordan with his gifts, either. But make no mistake, there might be no other sports executive ever who so adeptly utilized the tools at his disposal. No Call other me. commissioner yeah. who so clearly recognized and exploited the resources of his sport. With Stern in charge, the NBA called itself fantastic, but it was really a star factory. The All league right, marketed yeah, well, its stars awesome. to the hilt, and no league ever better mastered the art of marketing than David Stern's NBA. Mm -hmm. At its inception, years before the advent of the internet, not to mention Twitter or Instagram, dunk the Slam Dunk Contest was a phenomenon, yep. a must-see event created by Stern's Lieutenant Rick Wells. Mm -hmm. People too young to have seen Jordan versus Dominique in the heyday of the competition can hardly fathom how big a deal it was. Wow. Then, in 1992, there was the Dream Team, mm -hmm. the ultimate expression of Stern's strategic thinking of his desire to make the league 
a global brand. Yep. With Jordan and Magic and Barkley all in Olympic uniforms, the world was suddenly safe for Stern's unique brand of basketball diplomacy and capitalism, with the entire planet turned into a marketplace for NBA TV rights, and eventually, LeBron James jerseys. Ten years after the first Dream Team won gold in Barcelona, Yao Ming was the top overall pick mm -hmm. in the draft. Uh, China. This was not coincidence. In its own way, Yao's arrival was a milestone on the same order of magnitude as the Magic Bird rivalry and the rise of Michael Jordan. There is a good reason why David Stern had a seat on the Council on Foreign Relations. In terms of his management style, Stern was not a man to be trifled with. He could be intimidating, demanding, imperious. In fact, all of the above. Why was the Lakers for Chris Paul trade not an acceptable deal wow. for you? Well, your question indicates that you uh, don't understand the capacity in which I was acting. Oh. But he could also be charming and refreshingly blunt and honest, even on the subject of the owners for whom he worked. For example, when the New York Knicks lost a court battle about sexual harassment in their front office. It demonstrates that they're not a model of uh, intelligent management. Mm. Of course, under Stern, who reigned for so long, there were many challenges and controversies. Even as total revenue and player salaries skyrocketed, mm -hmm. there were too many lockouts. Lockouts, yeah. There was the infamous Patriots oh, shit, yep. in Detroit, which exposed a yawning disconnect in the relationship between players and fans. Wow. Tim Donaghy, a veteran NBA referee, went to prison on gambling-related charges. But in the end, David Stern will be remembered for all the ways in which he elevated the NBA, enriched his owners and the players, popularized the game in places Facts. where it had been an afterthought. When he took over, none of that was guaranteed. Back then, it would have seemed at best unlikely that the NBA would become a global behemoth. It is perhaps the ultimate testament to Stern's vision that now it all seems to have been inevitable. All right, and now we want to see the reaction from NBA players. Probably gonna be mainly tweet stuff, gonna make a short video because other ones a lot of long videos and all that. So I wanted to keep it short though. But yeah, it's my my the conversion and all of that. He'd still. Made it made the NBA to, as is now as a whole as being worldwide globally known or anything, bringing a lot of internet, <coughs> international success as well too. So these are going to be tweets mostly. So I'm going to try to read skim through them a little bit since people might come to me. I'm reading and I'm not speaking. From King James himself, I will never forget when you called my name on stage and I shook your hand. My dream, my dream came true. Thank you for your commitment to the beautiful game of basketball that changed so many young adult and kids life, changed me uh, lives, and more importantly, your vision to make our game come worldwide. It was a vision only you can make happen. You did it. You did just that. Making our game the greatest sports in the world was an honor to know you personally, Weston. That was really nice for LeBron. Oh, you're gonna show it anyway. All right, I get it. We'll never forget the words you spoke that day with the seventh pick challenge of my life forever. Thank you for your family and leadership commitment to growing the game of basketball. James Harden, Lee wouldn't be what it is today without you. The entire great family and fans around will miss you. Bill Russell cannot put I'll put cannot put into words what a friendship of David Stern has meant to me but many others. He changed so many lives. David was a great innovator and made a game. We love what it is today. This is horrible loss. Yeah, man. And he's this way before he came in the league and he and I think he older, he might be older than him, but still like and he has a hand in Bill Russell has a hand in the league as well too. To be brought in and be honored with the award and name after him. R.I.P. Dave Stone, the best commission to ever do it. Facts. 
very sad for basketball. We saw it during a lot in the 90s, and I found him to be kind, thoughtful, and was always the smartest person in the room. He was in a very well helped grow our sports into a global game, and his pack will not be forgotten. Facts. Amy owes Dave Sir a great adept attitude, his courage, innovation, and that's the ability. Yep, facts. Main thing everybody's saying is facts of like you can't deny the fact that he made his door wide. It was only for one of the My fan and my family, yep. Yeah, my man AI is my D Ray, my closest friends, yep. Dominique Wilkins, lost friend and mentor. Change your age to create a true legacy. Anyway, shaking hand on that day was a sad news. We lost a legend. Some of them are sweet and sweet. You change everything, we're internally. Mm -hmm. Steve Nash. Lost a leader today. Sending, yep. Pow. Young Pow with the no face right here. Oh, man. Chris Bosch. Gave a lot. Alright, man. You have a lot of opportunity for a lot of players. And this is why this is still a news reaction. Also, may announce for some other passes that happened, sadly. I, even though the girls of the situation, are still sad. Um, Nick Gordon, the ex boyfriend of Bobby Christina, who was also was seen the suspect of her death as well as possibly Whitney Houston's death, was found dead of overdose at age 30. And a Minnesota rapper, let me forget her name is real quick. And a Minnesota Minnesota rapper. It's crazy about I wish I knew about her. I just listened to some of the music before it, when I heard about the dance and her on uh, passing, I'm sorry. And um she was pretty talented. I wish she they would have pushed her out a little more. Lexi Elaje at age twenty one died as well too. Let's see what the cause of death was. They didn't say anything. Unexpectedly, nothing, no words, nothing like that. Cause of death. But yeah, that's sad. Other than that, um, man, we lost a lot of people. Uh, aside from world music and entertainment, we lost a lot of people in general over the week, over New Year's Day and New Year's Eve. Wanna be a friend? One of them sadly been a friend of mine with the new from high school as well too. That's uh way way. Um, we lost people that make it through the new year. Hopefully, this will come, don't come a common kind of thing of this year. Hopefully, everybody be safe out there. Just keep yourself in good health, best way you can. Prayer work as well too. So, it's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.